it's like 1.13 in the afternoon, but whatever. Who gives a shit, right? Good morning. My good morning is your good afternoon. And some other people is goodbye. <sighs> I'm sorry I started without you. Because you know what? Fuck you. So there you go. Anyways. Um, yesterday we were working on mastering the track. I didn't talk to you at all because, you know, I had to use the, uh, the monitors. And so um, I kind of worked at it a little bit more. What I'll do is, what we'll do is, we'll, uh, I don't know what we'll do. Because to be completely honest with you, I have zero technical knowledge of mastering audio production. Zero. Absolutely zero. Z-E-R-O. Zero. Zero. Technical knowledge. What does that mean? I couldn't, like, tell you all the things that a sound engineering knows out of a book. I couldn't tell you that shit. Because I never went to school for that. I didn't waste my money on that. I wasted my money on getting an art degree. Okay? Completely different. Um, so, how I learned is just through experience, just through trial and error, just through the, my own ears. Um, luckily, I, I did, at a very young age, you know, learn about music and reading music. Uh, and I could uh, kind of carry a tune. So, like, when I got older and I started producing, um, the person that was had showed me was, uh, like, my, my best friend at the time. He, he was very, he was kind of the same way where he wasn't technically educationally taught. Like, he didn't, you know, go to school for sound engineering. He didn't go to school for anything like that. He just literally sat at home all day long and just produced and he learned he taught himself how to play piano he taught himself how to do music all that kind of stuff and just by trial and error and sound and sound and sound and him searching on the net talking to people he eventually learned basically the basics of sound engineering on his own and what he learned he taught to me and uh, you know that's just kind of how it is it's, it's you know we learned through trial and error because we didn't really have a choice we couldn't afford fucking you know, sound engineering school and shit, and I didn't really see that as, like, an option. And so when I went to school, like, I was floating around trying to figure out what I was that I wanted to do, and I always loved art, so I, I went after art. Um, they didn't offer, like, sound engineering, and at the same time, like, because I wasn't, I didn't know how to play piano, I couldn't, like, tell you, like, the, oh, this, oh, this song is in this chord or this, you know, this key or whatever. Like, I could read it to you. On a, on a sheet of music, which is so funny because a lot of people who are good at like the whole technical, they can't read music. It's really weird. So, or sometimes, I don't know. It's like you, like you do one thing, but you can't do the other. It's weird. It's very, you're a genius if you can do it all, basically. So like for real, like if you can fucking do it all, you're basically, that's the definition of a genius. So um, through trial and error, through, you know, sound, through just, you know, experience is how I've, created my mastering and the scary thing about mastering is that we're getting to a point or we've already reached the point I've seen um, because I stopped doing music a long time ago I stopped at a point where it was like okay technology was really starting to push the boundaries of music making and automate and like automated kind of stuff was just really starting to go and that was like five, six years ago. Actually, excuse me. That was like six, yeah, six years ago. So now shit is even more automated, I've seen. You know, just from, I mean, I, I really don't want, I have not tried to go and the, the, the new downloads and the new songs and the new samples and stuff that I've gotten, I've seen it from, as from the computer music magazine stuff. And I honestly... I'm kind of shocked the way that everything is is moving to a mastering, that mastering is moving to a, like an automated kind of form, which is scary because one thing that I learned about when I when the Eureka moment came to me about mastering, I was like, finally got it. I was like, oh shit, is that everybody masters different? 
everybody's master is different and that's the whole point you need everyone to have a different ear same way that everybody has a different eye everybody has a different ear okay so with that that's how you create different literally different genres different sounds different you know emotions are elicited when you hear the different kind of tones and stuff so when you apply the same ma type of mastering to kind of everything i think that is kind of dangerous because then you lose the originality dude of the track the tr every the track eventually the tracks are become are going to become made by computers i mean they already are but they're made by computers through the help of man through the you know instructing of man like i'm talking about literally a fucking computer's going to i mean i think i'm pretty sure they're already doing that so it's like that's where it's just like, well, that's really weird. But uh, whatever, that's a whole other, you know, world for you. So let's see what we got going on here. Okay. Should we play everything without the effects? No, what I'll do is I'll play it and then, you know, we'll go and, and I'll shut off stuff as we go. And you'll see kind of what I've done. So remember, we split everything up into channels. We saved it. Again, uh, you know, you've given everything its own little, well, not that, here, let me move that. This little channel on the fly, bases on the 13. I've kind of just, usually you have to separate everything. Like you have to give everything its own channel. And this fruity allows you to do that, but I just am still fearful. I want to, I haven't used this program in a while. I, I'm just trying to see how far I can kind of get along uh, little by little. I'm not really looking to go crazy here give you the basics okay so um let's just start the track from the beginning and make sure this is not oh, wow, that's really loud because sorry i forgot okay i'm gonna turn off the mic now so I gotta play that shit loud so that you know you can hear that shit. It's so that also, it's really, it's really, it's really so my neighbors can hear that shit. And I don't mean my neighbors that live next door to me, like they hear that shit no problem. I'm here. I'm talking about like the neighbors like across the street. They need to hear that shit. So that's why it's loud. Oh, thanks for the follow. Awesome. That's 
Greg, that just scared the living shit out of me. Greg, out of here. And <laughs> he fucking I didn't expect that. And then they were like, I was like, oh fuck, where's that sample coming from? What did I do? I'm like, oh, yeah. Alright, back to the uh, we're monitoring right now. We're monitoring right now. We're checking it out. We're seeing how it sounds. Mastering this track. So go back to that.
like over here then maybe i'll be like okay no i gotta fucking leave it there because i'm fucking we're not like trying to win a grammy with this shit we're just having fun getting it to sound right whatever just going through the basics just taking it easy bro lazy sun wait today's sunday right today's sunday right i don't want to say sunday and it's like like thursday or something okay it's sunday okay we're good yeah, so lazy Sunday, man, just just doing the beats, bro, with the windows open and the neighbors yelling at you, telling you about, you know, to turn that shit down. And you're like, yeah, that's right, bro. Bass in your face, baby. Bass in your face. Come on, you can dance.
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna render it, all right? Things are good. Remember to save it, save it. I'm not gonna tell you again. Like I've told you so many times already. Save it. I gotta save it. Okay. So we're gonna render it, and now we're gonna start listening to it outside of Fruity. Okay? Because I think I've gotten to a point where I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Honestly, I don't know what's going on. Do you know what's going on? Because I don't know what's going on. Nobody knows what's going on. That's the whole point of life, because nobody knows what's going on. So we're going to render it out, and then we're going to open it up in SoundForge, and we're going to check out, you know, how big it is, how it looks, you know, you know, all that kind of stuff, and one of those. And then we're going to, like, you know, try and bring it out out of there. And we're going to go back and forth. Like that, like a ninja on the, on the rooftop. Oh, wait, that's not that's not a ninja. That's like a that's like that's that's the drums that the ninjas running towards. You know, this is a ninja. Do you hear that? That's a ninja. Okay, so let's render this. Save it. Uh, wave file, please. Not an MP3. And then we'll, we'll we'll compare it to the to the to the odd to the track before I even added everything because I saved that track. We saved the track that was the original track that we exported that was that had nothing. And in fact, I'll I'll, I'll play that for you right now. Actually, you know what? Let's let's show you uh, the difference. Like I'm gonna play the track and then take off the effects and stuff so you can see like what's kind of going on. Notice, look how low this shit is right here. So that's why we gotta export it and make sure that like, cause sometimes when, because it's not like big over here, you know, it won't come out really loud, but it's loud, man. I mean, I, I've got this shit and it's loud. So let's see what that. Come on, you can dance, 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 dance. Come on. This is basically the track without, I mean, I'm sorry, I have the mic on there too. This is basically the track without all the effects and stuff like that. Look how low it is. Barely registers, right? This is what it sounds like. This is, the, this is what we started out with. This is the original. This is after we made the track, we laid it out. This is how it sounds like. And now. I'll take off. The, that's, that's the master. That's, that's, we'll take out the master. Rock. Low, you're still playing in that area, right? So you've got enough room, you know. That's the main master over here. Okay. And what we're gonna do? We're actually gonna throw on the paramedic EQ over here. Try out messing with the camera. 
Bro, 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 and bra, bro, and bra, bro, and bra, bro, bra, bro, bra, bro, bra, bro, bra. Look how low that shit is. Okay, that's key. I want to throw this thing on there, but I'm scared because I've never, I haven't used it in a long time. And the loudness maximizer is the shit. That's gonna, this is it. This motherfucker. I, no, that's this one and the other one. Shit. 
and we need this the mastering edition. We need this. Ah, that's not it. Ah, this is it though. Okay, that's okay. Uh, let's see if this motherfucker works, bro. Okay, hold on. Hold on to your bros and bras.
fuck, this is how I lost the fucking file last time. The stupid fucking fruity reference manual, dude. Why the fuck did this shit come up, dude? Wow. I really hope I didn't lose this. Because if I lost this, I'll be so fucking pissed off. And I, 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 yeah, it's gone. I lost it. It's gone. Fuck. Damn, dude. Why the fuck does this reference manual shit keep coming up, dude? The fuck did I press? All right. Well, that's that ends today's fucking session. So uh, hopefully we didn't lose this shit, and hopefully you remember to save it. So I'll fucking be back. Hopefully, well, I know that I saved another master. I haven't. I haven't. Oh man, we did so. We did a lot of work in there. I'm. I'm not gonna go back and fucking fix that shit. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. Fucking fruity fucking reference manual. What the hell? It's the second time that shit happens, dude. All right. We'll see what happens. Talk to you later.